Let us know when you're ready, Ryan. Go ahead. Hi, Rodney. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm great as well. So I hear that um, Detroit Institute of Music is looking to purchase new seats for their auditorium. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct. Perfect. Well, um, if you wouldn't mind, would I be able to ask you some questions just to get a better feel of the whole situation? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so what is the current layout of your auditorium seating? Uh, so the current layout is about, um, I would say, 30 rows long and about 15 chairs deep or so. Okay. Um, how long has it been since the seats were first placed? Uh, what was that? Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. Um, how long has it been since um, these seats have been part of your auditorium? Uh, it's been a very long time, actually. We were happy with uh, how they how they lasted us, but at the same time, uh, we need new durable seats to to also last us a similar amount of time, hopefully. Okay. Do you have like a time range on that? Um, as far as how long I want them to last, um, I would say at least fifty years would be my minimum. Perfect. Okay. Um, so are you looking to get around the same amount of chairs as you currently have, or are you looking to get some more or less? Um, we definitely wish to expand a little bit. Uh, so we, we do want to order a couple more chairs than the previous one. Um, but at the same time, we don't have way too much room to fill up in the auditorium. So it won't, it won't be that much different. Right, that's understandable. Um, do you have a price range of what you're willing to spend on this replacement? Yeah, so in total for everything, um, we're thinking that we don't want to spend any more than about uh, $400,000 or so. Okay. So... Um, now I'm going to ask about your audience. What type of audience do you have or how many um, people usually attend? Are they like upscale audiences? Um, yeah, so I would say the, uh, the target market for us is mostly um, millennials and maybe a little older than that. Um, and, and yeah, I would say that we usually, we usually get pretty uh, lucky and have a full house for the most part. So most of those seats are filled up, which is why we do want a couple extra, but it is rare that we get full capacity. Amazing. Okay. Um, so what kind of seating arrangement are you looking for? For example, there's straight rows, continental seating, where they're kind of like rounded facing the um, stage or like multiple aisle seating. Do you have any preferences on that? Um. I kind of, I, I would just like it in whatever the formation of uh, a rectangle would be. Okay. Um, just because, like I said, we don't have that much space already. And if we were to make it curved, I feel like that would take a couple of okay. um, uh, seats out of the equation. Okay. So straight rows, did you want um, aisles between those rows? Um, yes, we would like to have two aisles uh running down the middle of either side. Okay. Okay. So what are some specific qualities or expectations that you have for your new seats? For example, um, what type of design you're looking for or comfort levels, <clears throat> certain colors you are thinking about, spacing between your seats, types of material, um, whether you want gravity return seats, um, things like that. Do you have any preferences? Um, yeah, so we obviously want our audience to enjoy the experience. Um, so I would say our main concerns uh, regarding the quality of the chair would be the comfort, um, the longevity, and for the cheapest price, I would say. Okay. But while still hitting those marks. Okay. 
Of course, of course. So, what is the timeline of when you'd want this done by? Um, well, we would like to have them up by uh, the beginning of the next school year, so we're not in any huge rush, but uh, we definitely need to get this uh, order in process. Okay, and roughly how many performances do you guys have a year? Um, we have about two a week. Okay. So that's about... Sorry, let me, let me get my hat clear. Roughly 104, call it 100, because sometimes we have to cancel. Okay. Perfect. Thank you for giving all that information. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about some problems you might have faced um, with your current seating. Um, how has the comfort level of your seats off or affected the overall experience for your audience? Um, that's honestly a very good question. We don't get way too much feedback about the uh, how comfortable they are, but it's pretty obvious that uh, they are older chairs, and the quality of them just weren't that great. And like I said, they did last us forever, but they, they weren't. Um, they definitely weren't cushiony, let's say. So sus sustainability and maintenance is a really big um, thing for you. Correct. Um, so a question about the upkeep and everything. Um, what are some problems that you faced in terms of that besides comfort? Like uh, um, stains or... Yeah, so, uh, I mean, after a while, sure, there's a little wear and tear on the seats, but uh, overall, they stayed pretty clean, I would say. Um, one of the main problems we had is our chairs uh, came loose a lot. So uh, we did have people in the audience who would... Uh, who would actually complain about their chairs once in a while because the wobbliness or maybe a bolt got loose. So that was annoying to, uh, to maintain and check the chairs every night. Okay. Okay. Um, so what are some aesthetic goals that you wish to achieve for your seating? Um, as far as just like how everything's gonna look? Mm -hmm. Like what kind of um message would you like to communicate with your seating like would you like professional like intimate upscale um i would definitely give it more of like an upscale elegant but um relaxing feel to it Ooh, nice okay so, do you currently use any light fixtures or guidance to help the audience members throughout um, the seating process or getting up and whatnot? Um, usually not. We'll just uh, give a, we'll do a briefing at the beginning to, to let them know the fire exits and whatnot and where they can use the bathroom, but no lights to signal it. Okay. Um, so... In your longer performances and shows, when people are sitting in your seats for extended amounts of time, um, how might uncomfortable seating or wobbliness and, you know, kind of feeling unsafe or sitting on unre unreliable chairs, how might that affect the overall experience um, as an audience member? Um, well, I, I would assume, because obviously we do have uh, a little competition um, not that near us, but if somebody's going to a large performance, they're they're willing to travel, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and when you think about it, let's say you have five movie th theaters in the area, and one of them has a comfy seating area, right. chances are that's the one you're going to go to. So we think that it's not as much as the seats are deterring people, but we feel like if we can upgrade the seats, that it would attract more. Yeah, of course.
does the issue of like the wobbliness and um looseness of your chairs like give you any alarm because you have gotten complaints about that before um can you elaborate? yeah definitely um so uh thankfully nothing has been too extreme but uh we have had some people fall off the chairs because of the wobbliness and we are afraid that it could cause injury and that that could be a, a liability for us. Yeah, definitely. Aside from even just the, the chair order. Okay. So you mentioned that you have no um, lighting in like your aisles and whatnot. So Correct. audience members are having trouble walking to their seats and finding their way around. They could be tripping over other people tripping over bags, tripping over steps. Um, what problems could that cause for you as a company? Um, yeah, pretty similar problems to the to the wobbly chairs, I would say. Um, just mostly injury and um, just overall, uh, I guess, annoying the customer a little bit. We don't want that to happen at all. Um, so you know that um, being in the Detroit Institute of Music, you know that um, mood and like aesthetic can really affect um, audience members. So what might happen if your chairs don't align with the kind of aesthetic or image you're trying to portray? Uh, well, just like any other company, I mean, we know that uh, brand image and company image means everything. So uh, if, if we don't have that elegant feel to our seating, then who knows what audiences we're going to attract and who knows if those audiences are going to talk to that about their friends and, and want to come back for more. So, so we want to reach that target market that's going to talk about it and create hype about the um, institute. Okay, that's a good word. So essentially you're looking for like a seamless experience where everything kind of fits together and makes the audience members excited to be there, you know? Yeah, definitely. So after years and years of performance, because you did mention that um, you have had your chairs for quite a while, um, what happens when your chairs get you know unavoidable wears and tears or stains you know other factors like how do you think um or what will you do if your seats cannot maintain its current its current body and feel yeah so um that's mostly the reason why we're in the market for new chairs um because the last ones although they did lo last a long time like i said uh they, it does seem like they're coming near their end and uh we definitely need a upper game in that area. Okay. So we need some reliable chairs. So if I could show you um, seating that is reliable, comfortable, and completely customizable to your needs, would you be interested in learning more about ASC? Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I mean, you guys are a really good competitor um and we are looking at a few other companies but at the same time I, I don't see a reason why you guys want to be a great fit perfect let's schedule a meeting rodney yeah definitely i would love 